going on? Welcome to episode one of Gibby Climbs. This is a new series I'm going to start experimenting with, kind of a vlog style um, with climbing season here. I want to add something to the channel, maybe something that uh, gets more content out more often. I'm about to head out. Um, item number one for today is to get revenge on nine lives. And then this afternoon, I'm going to meet up with Bob. Cal and Braden. We're gonna go to Dragon Ball V11. So a little bit on my pay grade, but you know, you never send harder things if you don't believe in yourself and try harder things. Guys, this is a horrible first impression of my coffee setup because I ran out of beans yesterday. So I'm stuck with curing. I'm sorry, guys. All right, let's hit the road. All right, so I kind of want to give a little breakdown on the history of me and this boulder uh, before I get there, so you understand better the nerves that I have behind this boulder. So I tried this boulder about probably two years ago now. Did all the moves except one, and then came back, second session, almost did it from the bottom, still couldn't do that move, but then realized that I could switch the beta, but then I started struggling on the bottom. I think I've had eight sessions. I think I had seven sessions that year, that season. Um, one of those sessions was the classic Thanksgiving partridge session. If you've seen the, the return, I was like up there and this random guy pulls out a flute and like starts playing it. And like his buddy is about to pull in the boulder and he goes, There we go. <laughs> Warriors assemble. <laughs> Spirit of the <laughs> Spirit of the Thanksgiving Partridge. Be with me now. Last year I pulled up to it after a long day of climbing at Dayton and it just did not feel good. That's why I'm like nervous. I don't get nervous for boulders that much anymore. I used to get a lot more nervous for boulders. But um yeah, I uh I'm I'm kinda nervous. Some rock stop goals. You went to Catching up on my native grade podcast. Maybe you didn't slash Shout out to the homies. Go check them out. Uh, Shout out to the homies. Go check them out. Shout out to the homies. Go check them out. All right, so here she is, uh, about as roadside as it gets. Um, starts on this little sharp tooth and this kind of like nothing side pull. It's not, doesn't really matter, but because you're kind of just pulling on and moving immediately with your foot on the Constellation Chaos Jug. It's a soft V8 or V7 that goes up here. And then you hit this, which it's better here, but like you need to heel hook that. So you're gonna go there. And then you tow into this little jib, come out to this good edge, but it's like super awkward because it's so like in line with you when you do that move out here. So that's like one of the cruxes for me. Then you get a heel hook up there, hit this crimp, which is like sharp, but you can really sink into it. Then you come up to this, which is good. And then you got a little like crimp that is like, it's a really cool hold. It's not amazing, but. And then you like walk your feet, kick a heel. You're just like so locked in. And then you hit this good edge and then that's a bucket and it's it's easy to the top. And you have this rock behind you that's really annoying. But also this thing would probably be V8 if there wasn't a rock cause you could just die now. So, yep, that's nine lives.
Christian Kinect, dude. Dude! I don't understand what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh my. oh my god. Keep it together. No. Go send go. Let's go. Yeah, you just, oh had, you just had to say it out loud. That's all it was. I saw your heels sink in. I was like, oh, this is the one. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit, Thanks. Dude. Well, that was nine lines. Still in disbelief. I mean, two years, eight or nine sessions. And just like that, it's over. Fight of a send, too. Four punts. Met. Three new homies, too. Some guys from Florida. The Hail Mary, send go. I was about to leave. I almost didn't commit to send go. Very, very psyched. Thank you, God. All right. See you, Nine Lives. Go check out my tiny Gumby. Tips are uh, thin. So we'll see what happens. Not in great condition, but you know. All right, so we made it to Dragon Ball. Um, it's like a mile and a half hike in, pretty heinous. Basically, like, go down the whole Deep Creek Canyon up the other side along the like sport climbing ridge and then cut down into the creek again and keep going but yeah it's pretty sick it's basically tricky kind of jug line then it gets a little crimpy around here and then that holds pretty bad and from there it's like crux so <coughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bad, dude. Really? Oh no.
Yo. Did not video at all on the way out of Dragon Ball or on the drive home because that hike was so brutal. It just wrecked us all. On the way home now, it's been a really good day. Uh, did not get much work on Dragon Ball, but after how much, I did not expect to put that much time and work in into Nine Lives. Now I'm just gonna get some greasy fast food uh, to make up for the calories that I hiked off. Southern climbing life hack. After a long day of climbing, I'm gonna drive home, get some Zaxby's. Oh my God. All right, well that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll get another one of these soon. Paul, you wanna close out the video?